In this video, Chris and Jones are going to show how to rig the XSL subs with the sub mounting frame first, and then with the flying frame. Extend the front links of the first cabinet. Bring in the second sub and put it onto the first. When connecting the two subs, tilt down the upper one to engage the front links more easily. This also helps when connecting the sub mounting frame and the flying frame. Connect the front links. A flown array of XSL sub loudspeakers can be rigged in different configurations. This is the setting to apply for a straight array. Swap the pin position of the lower cabinet to apply splay between cabinets. Next, extend the front links of the second sub. At the rear, release the rear link and connect it to the lower sub. Attach the sub mounting frame with the front links first. Then connect the rear link and don't forget the safety pin. Now Jones is going to show how to rig XSL subs out of the touring cart with the flying frame. First, remove the rear link adapter from its transport position on the frame and attach it to the load beam. Move the rear link and attach it to the rear link adapter. Two XSL subs can travel in the touring cart. Oh, by the way, hello Chris. If the subs are rigged from the touring cart, extend the front links of the upper cabinet and attach the flying frame front first. Again, a down tilt eases this job. Then engage the rear link. The sub top rigging adapter can travel underneath the subs. If it is not required, release the upper pin. To rig tops underneath of subs, release the lower pins to detach the touring cart. How to rig tops under subs will be shown in the next chapter. That's it.